Hello, this is Braves for Robin coming to you from Parts Unknown, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Rather than reviewing a wrestling DVD like I've been doing the last few times, I'm going to talk about the little miniatures game, Gizmo's Great Escape, come to you from WizKids. I just got this in the mail today, and I just broke the tape just so you don't have to see me fumbling with it, but I'm going to open it for the first time and share my thoughts. It looks pretty interesting. I'm a big fan of the movie Gremlins, as you can see, so let's check this out. As you can see, the rules are here on included in the package. They seem pretty simple. Looks like something you could pick up pretty easily and play a few times. Figures look pretty nice. There we go. Here's what's in the bag. Here's the rules. And it looks like a map. And it looks like a few different cards. The map looks pretty simplistic. It's nothing compared to like the map you would play with like horror clicks or zombies or anything like that. I'm going to fold that here. I mean it's this big, so that's how small it is. It's pretty simple. And the cards are here. The cards dictate your movement. They all, you notice they all say stuff like move Gizmo two spaces or move a gremlin. He looks like from the rules you actually have a choice of playing as either Stripe or as Gizmo. Now let's go to the meat of this, the, the figures themselves. This is what I'm looking forward to. Here we have Gizmo. He looks pretty cool. He looks kind of like a little bobblehead, like he should be a miniature bobblehead. It's not too bad. That's one of your main ones. Here's Stripe, of course. The Linus Gremlin from the first movie. So he looks pretty impressive, too. These are actually pretty nice sculpts. I think the reason these exist is because they were actually... looked like it was going to be part of the horror clicks genre, but they decided that when horror clicks got cancelled, they stopped making them because I think the company went under or got bought out or something like that. I'm really not sure about the history of it, but... They, I guess they had the license lying around, so they figured, let's use it. So here's the main two. You use Gizmo and you use Stripe. And there's a few miscellaneous Gremlins here. They all do various things, I guess. There's no click... Like, on a horror click space, there would be the little click base, but these ones are just a nice little plastic one. This guy's kind of weird looking. I don't... I don't remember him from the movie. I guess that's a ski mask or something. There's a card playing one. I'm guessing if this game was more successful, they probably would have went ahead and had like some of the creatures from Gremlins 2. But that would have been pretty cool. Then you have like the spider gremlin and the brain gremlin and the veggie gremlin. Maybe even some sort of like plot effect where Hulk Hogan comes and tells them to shut the hell up or something. I think that would be kind of cool. So here's a little Santa Claus gremlin. He's kind of, That's pretty cool. And a top hat. I haven't played a game of this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm a big fan, so I think I'll check it out. I love miniature games. Nice little package that comes in. It looks like something you would find in a toy aisle, but that's okay. I mean, most people would buy this. It actually says for 14 and up, but I don't see any issue why anybody can't play it. I guess for people who would be watching Gremlins, you'd want somebody older than 13 or so, because it looks like a cute movie, but that could freak some people out, you know? So maybe someday I'll do a video where I share the thoughts. Again, here's the little map, just a little thing. I think I start with my guys, I start Stripe up here, I start Gizmo down here base movement on that. I think the goal is to get Gizmo to here. For if you're playing Gizmo, you have to get there. It's either kill Gizmo or get rid of Stripe or something like that. There's a few action cards and they don't really have any effect to them. They just seem like you just do what they say. You draw a card, move Gizmo two spaces, move a Gremlin one. So that's my opening thoughts on Gremlins, Gizmo's Great Escape. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see more of this. It only came out in 2010. I don't know how big of a hit it was. I can't imagine it being a big hit or anything, but it seems interesting. I'll share my thoughts afterwards. So this is Braves Robin signing off. Goodbye.